Yeah. Hey guys, I am here today as promised to bring you my review of Hirokazu Koreeda's latest film, Broker, starring Song Kang Ho, Gang Dong Wan, Beiduna, Lee Ji In, and Lee Ju Young. Sorry if I butchered any of those names there, uh, or at least one of them. This film is basically about these two guys who take children from this adoption center and when people drop off their kids at night they take them and sell them to other parents who aren't able to have kids and basically they are called brokers. But eventually one child is left behind, the mother comes back to find it and then um, shenanigans ensue you could say. Uh, yeah, this film, I was excited to see this. I, I was just, when I was in the theater watching women talking, uh, I saw a trailer for this and I was like, oh, it's a Koreeda film. And not even thinking that it's like it's a Japanese director making a Korean movie. But I was like, hey, Song Kang Ho is in it. I love that guy. So I was like, I got to check this out. And uh, after a very, very lovely uh, tour of uh, the Academy Museum of uh, Motion Arts and Sciences, basically... What I did was I went over to an AMC, I believe it was the AMC Sunset, a small venue, but I tell you, like, the people are so nice there, so if you guys get a chance, if you're in L.A., uh, give that theater a visit. It's a little small one, uh, but I think you'll be very pleased. Uh, the th seats are also incredible. Um, so I went in and I saw this film because uh, I knew I wasn't going to see it anywhere else, and I figured it was in limited release to find out. It was already in a limited release, and it was probably on the tail end of it, uh, its theatrical run. So what did I think about this movie? Well, to give some background, uh, Shoplifters, uh, which he was nominated for a foreign language film at the time, uh, I that was a film that I loved uh, from that year, and I think it really stood out uh, amongst the nominees in that category. But obviously, I mean Roma, you know, I have to give it to that. So I was excited to see uh, what Coriator would do next. I'm still a little bit unfamiliar with his filmography, uh, and I'm really looking forward to checking out more of his stuff. I've been meaning to for a while, uh, but this film was uh, pretty great. I almost love this movie. I, I really think that there's so much going on here uh, that is absolutely incredible. Obviously, Song Kang Ho, such a strong presence in any movie. Uh, just been putting in some great work uh, the past few years, obviously, Parasite, but he probably is the most uh, heralded Korean actor, probably the most well-known of all time. And yeah, every movie he's in, he brings this charm uh, to it, and especially to a character that's very uh, morally gray uh, and, you know, questionable in a lot of ways. And you could say that about a lot of the characters, because, I mean, they're basically stealing kids and, uh, well, not stealing them, but, you know, basically doing some shady stuff and selling them to, uh, you know, other people who need it. Not the most noble profession, right? But I don't think that this film ever comes off as judgmental of these people. It never comes off as, um, you know, exploitative in that sense. It really is a very non-judgmental lens that we're looking at. I also think Gang Dong Wan is really, really solid in this too. And his character, uh, you really get to learn a lot about him. As like, you do a lot of these characters, I, I love how long this movie takes uh, to build uh, the characters. It really gives you time to marinate uh, with them and their actions. And basically reveal the story at a, at a very steady pace and a very surprising one because it isn't as I said it's not a fast-paced movie but when those reveals happen it's incredibly rewarding uh, and, and I think that happens throughout a lot of this movie specifically with his character but I think the other standout is Lee Ji Yun uh, sorry if I keep butchering her name but she is incredible I guess she was a, a, a k-pop star uh, before this but my goodness she has a career in acting uh, I really think that she was the standout, uh, one of the better supporting turns uh, from 2022, if I'm being quite honest. And there's one scene near the end of this movie on a Ferris wheel, and uh, I won't give it away, but I think that really is the scene uh, that sold me on not only her performance, but this entire movie. Uh, because you really see, uh, once again, this is a story about found family, uh, which you know may seem a little bit derivative considering uh, what this director's last film was. But I still think watching it, it, it kind of tells it in its own sort of way. Uh, but I will take off a few points just because of that. Because I do want to see him do something a little bit different uh, next time around. 
uh, at least when it comes to the thematics of it all. But I absolutely love um, the chemistry of this cast, especially the kid who comes into the movie. Oh my goodness, he was like the best part. Uh, and, and yet, every single one of them gets a moment to truly show why they are there, uh, what is missing in their life, and, and it really is just such a beautiful, heartfelt film about something that could have been extremely dark, but it doesn't come off that way. Sure, there are dark twists and turns all the, uh, you know throughout the narrative, some of which I'm not really like 100% on, which is probably why it holds me back from truly loving this film. I mean, especially, I will say, the ending I thought could have been a little less, I, I don't want to say it was ambiguous, because it kind of makes its point clear, but I just feel like it could have wrapped uh, up in a little bit better of a way that is more emotionally cathartic for the characters in the story. Um, that would be my one criticism, and just some events I I think are kind of like uh, unexplained or at least a little bit like iffy. Uh, why you know certain events take place and and what the meaning of them was, and it just left me scratching my head a little bit. Uh, but regardless, I think that this is a really damn good movie. And uh, it's a shame, I don't know if it was submitted uh, for international feature this year, uh, but, you know, i kind of surprised it didn't get in. Uh, well, actually, no, because Decision to Leave was, yeah, okay, never mind. But still, if you guys get the chance to see this, uh, you should definitely check it out. I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. Really, really enjoyed this film. Uh, very, very much so, and I hope uh, if it's on streaming soon, or if it's still in theaters uh, somewhere around you, go check it out. Uh, gotta support Corieta, whatever he does. Uh, really, really solid director. And yeah, guys, that's my review of Broker. What did you think? Uh, did you get a chance to see it? If you did, please drop some comments down below. I'd love to hear uh, what you think about it, because I don't think anybody in my immediate uh, group of friends has seen it. So I'd love to hear your thoughts, and of course, smash that like button. Uh, and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Going to be a lot of great content coming soon. Going to do my review of All Quiet on the Western Front next. And then uh, we're going to start rolling out uh, the top 100 greatest film of all time series. Uh, which should be going very, very soon in the next few weeks here. Uh, so you don't want to miss that. And yeah, guys, thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care.